Hey friends, uh, Chef Wainaina here, uh, welcome back guys, always good to have you here. Hey, you know friends, uh, there's nothing that beats uh, feeding yourself, your family, and friends a nice, nutritious, healthy, balanced dish. So today, it's all about healthy cooking. So for our healthy theme today, I'm doing some healthy curry uh, meatballs. I'm going to use some 93% uh, lean ground beef. I'm going to add some red onions to it. I'm going to add some scallions, uh, cilantro, going to mix some garlic, ginger, some curry powder, Worcestershire sauce and chili powder. And then I'm going to mix everything together, make some meatballs. So to go with our meatballs, we are going to make uh, some nice uh, tomatoes and pepper sauce uh, that is going to coat the meatballs very nicely so that you can serve it with some brown rice. Uh, whatever you like, I'm going to serve mine with some uh, barley, uh, just some steamed barley. Let's get started with the prepping uh, for this dish. I'm going to do a quick knife work here for both uh, the sauce and the meatballs. Uh, chopping, dicing, and mixing all the ingredients that we need to go in both our sauce uh, and the meatballs. A shout out to you all my friends this channel has just crossed the 20,000 mark subscribers it's been an amazing journey with you all so thank you very much for being my subscribers for supporting this channel really appreciate it if it's your first time today on this channel please remember to like comment and subscribe to this channel I share ideas and tips on cooking. Thank you so much. So our knife work for both our meatballs and the sauce uh, is definitely done. So now I'll go ahead and put the dish together. Remember the key thing in cooking is mise en place. Mise en place basically means having everything put together ready for your cooking. So to start our meatballs, I have a clean bowl here. I've cleaned my hands. I will empty this here. So this is two pounds of lean ground beef, uh, meaning that only 7% of this is fat. Just slightly, slightly break it. So into this one, I'm going to add my scallions, uh, cilantro and red onions mix, like so. I'm going to add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. The mustard acts as a binder and also gives a very good flavor. About a tablespoon. I'm going to add a pinch of our curry powder, some black pepper, salt. Heat it with a pinch of red pepper flakes. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm going to come in with my hands and then start mixing this. Mix it uh, thoroughly. You want everything to come together, but don't over mix it. Over mixing makes uh, the meatballs uh, tough. We want our meatballs to be nice and airy in the inside, not gummy. So keeping our healthy thing, so every time you add vegetables, anything green you add to your meal, just makes it more nutritious than you just add it. You know, you can have these meatballs, just the ground beef, but that won't make it as healthy 
as it is now. The onions, all these, uh, they have a lot of value. So this is basically done. So I'll put this aside. I'm going to drizzle it with some oil here. This, I'm just going to brush this. You can use a bigger pan. Set my oven at 350. So with this, I'm going to take our meatball mix like so, and make some small, medium-sized uh, balls. Just like that. And then I'm going to lay this onto the pan. Nice uniform size. Just roll them between your palms. Well, so the meatballs will be nice, airy, and very flavorful. So I'll keep rolling this. Almost done, last one to fill our pan. So this is about 16. So the mix uh, gives you about uh, 20 small, medium-sized meatballs. So this pan goes into the oven for about uh, 15 minutes just to get the color and to partially cook them. So as our meatball cooks in the oven, it's time to start making our sauce. So for our sauce, I have a medium sized pot. I'm going to add our vegetable oil here, a tablespoonful, and then straight in, in goes our red onions, our scallions, ginger, garlic, cilantro mix, and then we are just going to start sweating those. The sauce is very straightforward. All we need to do is to simmer everything for about 15 minutes as the meatballs cook in the oven. I'm straight away going to season the salt and pepper. Give it a stir. All I'm looking for here is for the garlic and ginger to start releasing their flavors. In goes my curry, a teaspoon of a paprika, smoked paprika. I'll put in the rest of our red pepper flakes. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of tomato paste. Give this a stir, bring everything together. Once the spices start releasing their aromas, you can just feel it. I'm going to add my chopped tomatoes, add the peppers, and then what I have here, this is two cups of a tomato sauce. You can use canned tomatoes or blend some tomatoes. That goes in, give this a stir. In goes a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. I'm going to add a half a cup of water, bring this to a boil and then simmer it. Cover it. In this small pot, I'm starting the barley the same way you do rice. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna check our sauce here, how it's doing. It's simmering slowly. The meatballs are still working in the oven. We have about five more minutes to go. Give this a stir so that it doesn't stick at the bottom. Oh, this looks beautiful. Nice, very healthy dish. Lots of vegetables. Vegetables are good for us. Give it a taste, see the seasoning. Just re-season it with just some salt. Has a slight uh, kick uh, from the chili flakes. Uh, but that should not be felt uh, by a lot of people. It just, it just gives it a nice balanced flavor. Nice acidity uh, from the red wine vinegar. I, if you think uh, your sauce is too acidic, uh, you can add just a hint of sugar, cover it back, give it a couple more minutes. 
Right here, I'm just steaming some barley uh, to go with our meatballs. So it's been about 15 minutes. Our meatballs are done. Remember, we are not fully cooking this. We just wanted them to get color. Awesome. We'll put them aside. We will open the lid, stir it, and this is this is ready. Look at that. Very beautiful. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take some of this uh, sauce. I made a little bit extra, so the, the recipe gives you extra sauce. So this, I'm going to take about a half of this. So I'm going to ladle this, save this, and then you can use it to make a stew or wherever you are making this is perfect. So awesome. So now onto the pot, I have our meatballs. I'm going to put them into the sauce and finish cooking. Submerge them into the sauce. This is delicious. I will add some of this juice from the meatballs. That's awesomeness. I'll come here with my muiko. That's my stara, that's Swahili. Make sure that they are coated with the sauce. Bring this to a boil and let it simmer for another 15 minutes until the sauce reduces just slightly and the meatballs are coated with the sauce and they are fully cooked and then we'll be ready to serve. Put the lid back just partially for now. Check for seasoning. Always season your food as you go so that you know where you are at. So now, just five minutes, I'm going to leave this uncovered. Awesome, our dish is done here. So just the final touch as I always like to do, sprinkle it with some freshness. So I have here cilantro and scallions just to finish it up. Turn off the heat, look at that. So the meatballs are nicely coated with the sauce. Time to serve. So there you have it friends, our beautiful meatballs. Time to go ahead and test it. This really looks yummy and healthy delicious. So there you have it friends, I thank you very much for watching a new dish that you can add to your menu rotation, our healthy, delicious curry meatballs. It's a nice weekday dish that you and your family can definitely enjoy. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, especially if it's your first time on this channel. Otherwise, thank you so much. I will see you next week.